previously on Magnum Opus. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. I'm with the Minutemen. I'm here to help. You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Will you be willing to join the Minutemen once I've dealt with those raiders? Well, we'll certainly give it a good long think. I suddenly stop <laughs> Taking hostages, please. You gotta hurry. Don't you worry, darling. I got your back. Could a hundred caps change your mind? Not much, but it'll do. What else do you have? What if I were to tell you? We've only scratched the surface. So, what I propose is a partnership. You and me. All right, I'm in. <laughs> Hell yeah! You are not gonna regret this. Name's Jake. Jake Evans. Now, this equipment we're after was delivered from Concord Hardware to an old Air Force satellite station called Olivia. We're in luck. Air Force kept a log of inventory, and it mentions a delivery from Concord right here. From Concord Hardware, delivery by Boston Direct, courtesy of Sender K.S. Magnuson, item one, industrial-sized Robco Com Hub Unit. This is the ACM Com Hub. As best as I understand it, this thing connects to the sensors somehow. Allowing them to do more stuff. I'll contact you once I've looked over the comm hub. Hey guys, Lively here. We are back with episode 3 of our Magnum Opus version 7 run, available exclusively on Wobby Jack. I hope you don't mind the recaps I've been doing. I, I was trying uh, something a little new so I didn't have to talk about the previous episodes every time I start a new one. So... I hope you like them. I'm probably going to keep doing them, because I think they're pretty interesting. But uh, we're heading up to Ten Plans Bluff now, so let's just get right to it and not waste any time. Did you find those raiders? Well, I surely did. Eh, they're history. Now, what do you say about joining the Minutemen? Helping others when they need it. You helped us, so it'd be pretty ungrateful of us to turn our backs on other folks. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. Claim a new workshop. And yes, I will be putting a city plan here later. Well, let's head back and talk to Preston. Just keeping up with the Minutemen while we wait for Jake to call us on the radio. Also, randomly running through here just reminded me that I never made an updated list of keybinds, so I will have to do that when I'm done recording this today. Uh, free health. Yeah, I'll take it. What the? Oh, it's gone. Thanks, Cosworth.
All right, Preston, where are you? Down? What, is he in the river? What? What are you doing out here, sir? I don't want to get 10 rads a second to talk to you, so... You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. It'll get more and more useful as we get more allied settlements. Eventually, you'll have help wherever you need it. So you may notice a change from Vanilla right there, because he didn't immediately give me a new settlement quest. That's because we use a mod called Who's the General, and if you Hi. want, you There's can talk to him to get more. To ask you. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen, but I never really told you what happened to us. But he will no longer immediately prompt you with endless quests unless you actively talk to him, which is quite nice. I figured you'd tell me when you were ready. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? What was it? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? As long as you don't give up, the Minutemen will survive. I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds. But that's not going to be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Sigali is quite right, Mum. If anyone can unite the people, it's you. Thanks, Godsworth. What makes you think I can do this? You saved us in Concord. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Okay. I'll do it. That's the spirit, Mum. And one giant step in the right direction for the Commonwealth. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Miniman. And the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Why are you calling me General? The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. But one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new General. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. Anything else? Let's Come take with him. me. I need your help. You got it. I'm sure you will take good care of my mistress. Good day to you both. Take care, Codsworth. Uh, go down to the tunnels. Hang out with dog meat. Because... Yeah, a little bit here. I'll eventually get all their perks. Get more of yours That's what I would... Well, if you're gonna yell at me about radiation, don't stand in the middle of the river. We can make our way to Diamond City, or we can do Sturgis's quest here. Might as well. Sturgis. You willing to do some work? I'd be glad to help. 
Just tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Oh, sure. I can make beds. I will make the shittiest beds imaginable. I have no cloth. I don't even know if there's anything I can scrap around here to get cloth. So I just want to turn my flashlight on. Oh, well, these boxes might give me fun. Helped. I'm gonna need four more. And again, I really don't care where they go. I'm gonna be putting a city plan here later, so wherever is fine with me. I don't know why I'm weird about scrapping my house, so I'm just gonna leave that one alone. And another. Another. And another. And we're done with that step. What's funny though is we can actually kind of preempt this if we know what he's going to ask for. I don't have any circuitry. More concrete. Hosworth does. Ah, I sent him away. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the scrap stuff right there. Going to need circuitry, I believe it was, and gears. Rid of this corpse. Extra object selection. I forgot about that safe gun. Unfortunately, it's not looking good for our uh, gear and circuitry situation here. 
I did this one. But that's okay. We will simply do something else. You do this. Which we're not close enough to. But that's okay. I know it is. Somebody would throw a library book into a dumpster, but whatever. So we gotta head down to Cambridge and meet with the next faction of the game, the Brotherhood of Steel. This doesn't do anything, right? Right, so the next quest will be triggered by Jake's private frequency, not just private frequency, but I want that one to kick on. Fortunately, if we leave it on, hey, there we go. Once I'm in range, it starts. Actually, I don't care what you say anymore. Here we can unlock a new uh, a new entrance to our tunnel base. So we get over here outside the Drumlin Diner. We can talk to this guy too. This is a guy from 3D NPCs. Has a little side quest. Nothing major. Yeah. Hello, fellow traveler. Come take a seat by the fire and take account of this glorious beast. It's an albino radstag, a very rare condition caused by a genetic mutation. Of course, we won't tell that to the members at the club, will we, Ludwig? <laughs> I suppose not, sir. Good, good. Which is precisely why we need to kill every other albino radstag in the Commonwealth and burn any evidence of their existence. It's the only way to ensure our kill is one of a kind. In fact, if you'd like to help, I'll give you caps for every radstag hide you find. After all, even the common ones might be carriers of the gene. Here you go. Thank you, Traveler. With every hide, our discovery is that much more unique. I'll have Ludwig burn these immediately. I don't have anything on me. Soon, hopefully. Well, no need to hurry. Mutations are very slow to act, so we have time. Of course, History has a long lifespan, so we don't have forever. I'm busy. Let's talk later. Understood. Well, I dare I'm glad I just sold the hide to him that I just littered off of the corpse next to his fire. I'm glad I was able to sell the hide to him that I looted off the corpse next to his fire. And that's how we unlock all these gates. Just find new entrances, go through them. I know, this is kind of like a fast travel hub to where we just came from. Anyway, we can pop over to Drumlin Diner for a second here. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods you owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault to be strung out. Hey there, stranger. Right. You Walk new to these away. parts? I don't think I've seen you on the caravan trail before. You could say that. How about you? Lived here all your life? Sure am. Commonwealth, born and raised. Been on the trail since I was 16. Tell you what, since you're new around here, I'll give you a tip. If you're ever looking to do some serious trading or after work, check out Fourville. It's a real cool place, built outside one of those old vaults. It's up by Salem. Trust me, 
It'll be worth your while. But since I've got you, would you like to do some trading? Uh, no thanks. Gonna pass. Yeah, no problem. I'm sure I'll see you again on the road. Okay, bye. Hey. I thought I told you this ain't any of your concern. I'm sorry, I was busy talking to that guy over there. Looks like you got some trouble. I could help. Help? What are you, some kind of hired gun? Why is he shaking? Is he on jet? Well, maybe you can talk some sense into Trudy over there. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. I always like to talk to him first, because if you talk to her, she just wants you to kill them. And I like to do things peacefully. Hi. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Look, you owe them money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. I got a better idea. You take oh, care of that failed. Day. I'll pay you a hundred caps to put a bullet between his eyes. Wolfgang and I had a deal. If I'm gonna back out on it, I'll need more. I'm not playing this game, Scaver. A hundred caps or nothing. <laughs> And why should I help you? Look, this place might not look it, but caravans come through here, okay? I have supplies. You help me, we can trade for whatever you need. All right. All right, Trudy. I'll get rid of him. Thank you. I'll back you up from here. Go get him. You crossed the wrong. Karma's paying off. You should keep going. Where's my money? Excuse me. <laughs> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag. Here, this is for you. Now, if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. Gonna pass. Well, it's not the way I expected that to go down, but that's okay. On to Cambridge. Oh, I don't know if that's a friendly or a hostile gutsy. If it's hostile, this could be a problem. And he didn't respond to that, so I think we're alright. Or is that Codsworth? Oh, what are you doing, man? Actually, hey. Uh, hey, Codsworth. Shall I accompany you, Bob? No, I just kind of want my junk back. I'd like to trade some items. Of course. Thanks. Preston. Hey. I have gifts. Listening. Thanks. Now I can finish Sturgis's quest later. <laughs> Probably. Take a wide berth around Lexington there. I don't want to get mixed up in that again. I do love the way this all looks. I love these trees very much. Looks like I should delete that one though. Might be clipping up into the bridge there. Alright, so this place is also pretty deadly, but more so because there's landmines everywhere. Which I don't appreciate one bit. But we could take the. Oh, speak of the devil. 
But we could take the back entrance, what I was about to say. Surprisingly well. Nice. Excuse me. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Before I answer, will you tell me who you are? In due time. If you want to remain in our compound, I suggest you answer my question first. Pest exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? Don't really have a home. An answer that I hear often. Whether it holds truth or not remains to be seen. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. Who are you guys? And what are you doing here? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? It's a good plan, if we make it back. I can assure you that I wouldn't undertake this mission unless I had confidence in your abilities. Halen. Take Reese inside and find his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Oh, and I want to see if any of these ghouls have passwords. Which is something we will go over a good bit later. But any ghoul has a chance of dropping a uh, vault resident password. They'll be a little useful for some loot later on. Also get them in certain containers, but they're much more common on ghouls. Oh no! I'll unencumber myself in a moment. That uh, uniform is probably pretty good. Oh, I can wear armor with it. I wasn't sure. Yeah, that's a good bit better. Let's level up. Obviously, I need strong back because I can't stop picking stuff up. Always like scrounger. Which you find is good to take early on. Another ammo box over here though. Yeah, 
against all the ghouls. Gonna patch me up or what? I don't know. Your prognosis looks pretty grim. Might be more humane to just take you out back and shoot you. <laughs> You're all hard, Doc. Just quit squirming so I can get these bandages on. Take him out to heal real quick. I don't remember you looking like that. Think you're some kind of hot shot? Literally just got here. Why are you so angry with me? I'm not angry. I'm just letting you know where you stand. You're hired help, and that's all there is to it. Is there any way to earn your respect? Do what you're told. Keep your head down and your mouth shut. Now why don't you run off and see if Top needs you to do anything else? What a dick. So, the other day I had somebody complain that they got, uh, 16 fusion cores from this place, but they were also on version 6, which, uh, removed the overhaul of this location specifically, so I doubt that'll be a problem anymore, because they were probably in this room here. Could be anything hidden in all this. Looks like that's not a problem anymore. That's a terrible word to start with. Thrives. Okay, so it doesn't end with an S. That's not right. That could be right. Nope. Maybe. Got it. Hey. I'm only interested in this one. Because you see the map updated. That's for uh, Nick's companion quest later. That should be uh, that one right there. I won't take drugs, but they're good for selling, so I'll always loot them. Paladin dance. You ready to move out? Ready. Outstanding. Follow me. What the hell? <laughs> Hammer clip through the wall there. Let me get a crit. Caravan guard. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Is an incredibly heavy armor set, but it's a very good armor set. I don't know where Preston went, but I need him to carry some stuff. There you go. Heads up. 
point it out. Dude. Okay. This is what I've got. I hate that menu so much. You can like this. Well, I do like to keep the old weapons when I can. Just so I can break them down later, but I want the scrapper bird to do it. They came back with crates full of pre-war artifacts and historic documents. The second wasn't so fortunate. Shortly after they arrived, we lost contact with them. They haven't been heard from since. As far as my team goes, we've lost four good men to this godforsaken waste. And the target for the moment we arrived. But despite our setbacks, I don't intend to give up and head home. Or end up pissed. I like folders because they're weightless, but they sell for one dollar. I always pick those up. Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Listen up. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics and buy the book. Understood? Understood. Outstanding. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. It was corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. But they exploited technology to their own gains, pocketing the cash, and ignoring the damage they've done. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security has already been dealt with. Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Oh no, not Synths. Sounds like you're scared of Synths. There's a measurable difference between being frightened and being prepared. Now, let's move out. We need a little unique gun here. Hell yeah. Which I have a little bit of ammo for. We can give it a look. So shiny. This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the brother that might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll we'll have to mark this place for sweet and retrieve. Oh, don't you worry about that dance. I'll take all the good stuff. Like that sweet folder. That folder, too. Oh. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. Reconnoiter. So, to open the door, we gotta access this terminal. This one is just saying... That your mainframe passwords are to be changed on a monthly basis and failure to do so may result in automated changes and automated change since you know everyone's dead and now I have a password and that password goes to this terminal 
which we can use to unlock the door. hard to see through this thing while it's firing. It's very bright. Not a huge fan. Oh, hey. So one thing I'm thinking about changing, just a little thing, is these synth components, you can see they're made of plastic. I think that's really silly to have such advanced technology just be plastic, so I'm thinking about making it like circuitry or something. But I never remember until I like see it in game, so I just haven't done it. But hopefully this little commentary will make me remember. I guess I'm not opening that one. Sweet. You're always walking so far ahead of me. I like aluminum. I like adhesive. I like copper. I like screws. I like random experience for picking locks that I don't need to pick. Yes. Energy weapons permanently inflict plus five critical damage. I don't know what this one says. Oh, uh, this is for the rocket in the basement. So, after six months, the United States Space Administration finally approved Archet as the contractor for the Mass Shot Project's propulsion and communication systems. Having my team start working on the XMB booster before we secured the contract was a gamble, but it looks like it's going to pay off big. We have a lot of details to hash out with the agency, and we have a lot of work ahead of us, but I think this contract will finally put Archeck on the map. I was fortunate to be able to add Dr. Rory McClellan to the XMB booster team today. There are few people who can match Dr. McClellan's aptitude with nuclear propulsion systems, so this truly was a coup. It costs the company a heck of a lot of money to hire him away from his military contracting job, but I'm sure it will be well worth every dollar. We've promised the USSA that the booster will be ready at least a year before their July 2078 launch date. With Dr. McClellan at the helm, we should be able to meet that deadline with time to spare. As the holiday season approaches, it's time to take a step back and look at everything that's happened to ArcJet Systems this year. Five months ago, my company was struggling to make ends meet. Now, with the XMB booster and the Deep Branch Transmitter projects in full swing, ArcJet appears to have received a second chance. Thanks to Dr. McClellan, we're on schedule and under budget. The USSA is thrilled with our progress and is already talking to me about future contracts after we deliver. I don't think it's possible to be ending the year on a better note. Dr. McClellan's informed me that we have a problem with the XMB booster. The USSA is demanding that the engine can't exceed their strict weight allowance, but thanks to the uranium refinement subsystem, we're a few hundred tons over. We're now one month behind schedule, and I'm frankly starting to panic. Dr. McClellan assures me he'll find a solution soon, but that isn't helping me get to sleep at night. 
The USSA has started their public relations campaign for the Mars Shot Project, and our tech system is finding itself caught right in the middle. In the last week, I think I've fielded 15 separate interviews with everyone asking the same questions over and over again. They all want to know when we're delivering the XMB boosters so they can take their pretty pictures of the USSA test firing it for the first time. And all I can do is keep smiling and lying through my teeth that the XMB will be delivered when it's ready. I hope Dr. McFarland solves our weight problem soon or we're never going to get a contract from the USSA ever again. I can't believe it, but Dr. McClellan's team finally solved the XMB's weight problem. Now all we need to do is finish tightening a few screws and hoist the thing up into the engine pour. If we're lucky, we'll be able to test fire the booster right after the new year. It's funny how things seem so bleak and chaotic during the year, but it all comes together for us just in time for the holidays. We've scheduled a photo opportunity tomorrow for the XMB booster's first test firing in the engine core. We're going to stick them all down in the control room and let them shoot their pictures through the thermoglass window after Dr. McClellan gives them a short explanation of how the booster works. The engine puts out a hell of a lot of thrust, so it should be quite a spectacular show. It's been two weeks since the accident before the XMB's booster's test firing event. Somehow, a photographer managed to wander past security and into the engine core a few hours early. Dr. McClellan was running a quick test on the booster, letting it run for only a few seconds to make sure it was ready for the demonstration, and burn the photographer into ash. Thank God no one else saw what happened. I'm having Brent take care of the remains. After all, that's why I hired him. If word of this accident goes public, we'll be shut down, and I may as well put a for sale sign out front. All of the unrest overseas is making the USSA nervous about proceeding with the Marshaw project. They're telling me they may have to delay a year or more depending on what happens. If that's true, we'll just have to make do with the proceeds from the Deep Range Transmitter contract, which we've already completed. I'm trying to keep everyone's spirits up around here, but it's getting harder and harder with the world falling apart around us. Hopefully, our government will work things out and we can all get back to work. So that's kind of a hinting at how the booster works, because we can use it later, which you will see. Let's see if this one shuts down the turrets. Uh, one, wall, zero. So it doesn't start with a W. Right. Since I'm down to one try remaining, this is usually when I go for the brackets and try to get a try reset. That was awesome. Might as well get the rest. It's pretty rare that there's going to be two tries resets, so the rest should all just remove duds. I've gotten pretty good at spotting these over the years. I think that's all of them. So, not a lot of options left. And I immediately forgot what they were. So, wire was one, so that'd be two. That can't be it. Alright, game is one. Oh my god, if I fail this, I'm gonna be really upset with myself. Uh, fuck. Honestly, I might just go for it. Nice! Installed new terminal in Reinhardt's office. He's demanding some serious security on it now that we've got the Marshot contract. I'm not sure if he's being paranoid or if he's got a real reason to worry. I'll set him up with the best we've got for now. Okay, now I'm convinced Reinhardt is paranoid. He's had me put in automated security turrets in the main hallway outside his office. You'd think we were working for the military instead of just the United States Space Administration. Got McClellan constantly bugging me that the mainframe keeps running out of space. I've ordered some more storage from our supplier, but we're rapidly running out of room down here for any more consoles. I might have to talk to Reinhardt into letting us spill over into the office sections. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Brent came down and had me pull all of the video surveillance records from the mainframe from last month. I asked if he wanted me to just make him backups, but he just grunted like he always does and demanded the originals. I have no idea what he's doing with them, and I don't want to know. As long as I keep getting a paycheck, I could care less. And yes, we can deactivate the turrets for Think you're clever? I do think I'm clever, because I use my brain to fight instead of guns like an idiot. See? No turrets dance. Dumbass. Anyway, that's the most I've spoken in a long time, so I'll probably be quiet for a minute. Oh, maybe not. Those syringes are pretty cool. They're from a mod called, um... 
Oh, what is it? It's a syringer overhaul, but it's called SRO, and I can't remember what the art is for. But it has a lot of unique, uh, unique syringes you can use, and they're all separately listed here. So, for example, the Blizzard syringe instantly freezes target, inflicts 75 points of freezing damage during one seconds. Uh, if you're ever curious about why that happens, it's because that number isn't like typed as the number one in the description. It uh, it's kind of a variable, so it fills in with the appropriate number, which is why seconds is plural. I technically can't fix that without uh, changing the duration to something more than one. Uh, additionally, decreases target damage resistance moving speed, so they're pretty cool. Uh, a couple of my favorites. There's one where you shoot them, and then like 30 seconds later, they have this big radiation explosion and turn into a super mutant. And there's another one that can turn them into feral ghouls, and they get pretty creative with them. Pretty cool. Get that free health. I like phones because they have circuitry and copper, which is quite nice. Money. Engine cores ahead. Could be our final stop. If you say so. Excuse me. How no, I just wanted the door. We'll talk later. Okay. Watch your footing. It looks like the power's out in this section. There's the Mars shot project. Where we vaporized a photographer. Looks like the elevator is dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now. Find a way to get the facility's power back online. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Bingo. Hey, there's a gun we'll never use. I'm sure he took shop class. Oh look, he's reading the science mags. How cute! Ha ha ha! Shop class. Let's see them make this in shop class. I marvel at the engineering. Take care of Finest the in weaponized refuse acceleration. My beauty, my junk jet. They'll see. The engineers with their suits and fancy degrees. Come Monday morning. I just didn't want to pick that lock while I was playing because it hides the subtitles. So. Uh, thing has one. So no, no, no. Maybe. Got it. Hey. So for this, we got to start the engine backup generators, which obviously restores the engine. We're gonna lock ourselves in here so we can talk for a second. So these synths will spawn endlessly, and uh, considering we use mods like tree damage and stuff, he's not going to do so well here. <laughs> but normally in vanilla, he'll pretty much kill them infinitely. If you have Heather Kasdan with you here, uh, that'll increase her synth counter as well, so it's kind of an easy way to cheese that quest here. Which is good. I don't have her with me right now. I'll probably go pick her up in a little bit. But, uh, these shields are interesting though, so I think they're a really cool idea. I hate being near them, and I'll show you why in just a second. But first, let's burn these guys out. But that terminal about the Marshot project was kind of giving you a hint about the fact that you can test fire this and nuke everything in here. Efficiency rating of 
Oh I my said. god. Are you all right? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. All right, so about these shields. I think they're a really cool idea. Uh, I think they fit the sense really well. I also want to delete them from existence because you can kind of see my lighting kind of going like darker and lighter. Because every time I look at these things or come near them, it like dominates the lighting and I can't see anything else. And that really bothers me. I hate that. But that's the reason I don't like them and I won't use them. And why I want to delete them. Because if a synth comes near me and starts punching me with that thing, I can't see anything. It's really frustrating. Like, when I pick this up, the lighting goes back to normal. That's just crazy to me. It's in point. Interesting. <laughs> That's weird. It's like it dismembered the arm, but doesn't know what to do with it. That's funny. Havoc being Havoc. Uh, if you're not aware, Havoc is the name of the physics engine Let's get out of that runs all this stuff. So like, uh, uh, so like this fan. Like the reason that it drops is because of the Havoc engine, and the reason it hits the floor is the Havoc engine. Otherwise, it would just like float in the air like that arm, or fall through the floor, or, you know, whatever. So we just call those like little Havoc bugs. The quirk of the engine is all. No. All right. Just go. Be quiet. The bunker looks clear. Let's move out. Uh, I'm right behind you. I'm overweight. Rest hey. What do you need? You want to swap supplies? No problem. Ooh, just barely. We need can't carry anymore. All right, so I got to make a uh, supply drop off run soon. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? I thought we did fine. We're both alive and the transmitter's been secured. There's no need to scrutinize the details. I thought we worked well as a team. Agreed. It's a refreshing change to work with a civilian who can follow orders properly. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Hey, thanks. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster. But you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood 
to steal and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? So, what would be expected of me if I joined? You're not seriously thinking about joining the Brotherhood, are you? General? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? I don't know. I know the Brotherhood has all the fancy toys, but don't forget about your responsibility to lead the Minutemen. It's a big decision, so I understand your hesitation. If you decide you want to become one of us, you know where we are. Good luck. So I'm obviously going to join him later, but Preston's being a whiny little douche canoe, so I'm going to wait until I have a different companion that'll actually approve of it. But we can join anytime we want by just doing what that says, going back to the Cambridge Police Station. But speaking of followers that are pro-Brotherhood, I think it is time we go pick up Heather. So there is a little bug with this radio here. Uh, it's not the mod's fault. It's not actually any mod's fault. It's a mod conflict. So, this casting caravan radio and this emergency distress call share the same exact radio frequency just by sheer coincidence. And um, whenever we play one, it's gonna th the game is going to think we're playing both because it's playing the frequency and not like the, the text of the radio, so to speak. So it's going to start both quests. Uh, it'll update our quest to go find Heather, and it'll start Vault 494. You'll see. Body aching, sore of heart. Geiger that state of emergency, that's chart. the distress call one. Caravan's got the cure. Alternative medicine products that will fix you up for sure. Casted Caravan is currently doing business next to the old cemetery near Covenant. Come on down and see for yourself. You, you won't be sorry. No point in Body aching, down. sore of heart. Geiger Raider was walking funny. I thought it was a ghoul. I forgot how close I was to uh, being encumbered there. Stupid shields. Why are they go flying like that? Alright, so um, instead of picking up Heather right away, I'm gonna go up to this manhole up here. And we'll drop some stuff off. Then we'll go get Heather. But um, since I used Heather so much in my last run, I am undecided if I want to use her again this run. She did have an update um, just a couple days ago. Uh, since this recording, anyway, where I can now dismiss her and she should be able to use some settlement stuff like plots and all that kind of thing. Um, it's largely untested, so I feel like I kind of should do that, if nothing else. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And Llama is a friend, so, you know, I like to do things for him. Test when I can. Wow, I'm not sure if I can kill these guys. Let's get our infinite ammo on. What did that miss? Come on, Preston, you got this, man. Oh my God, I missed again. Cheese mid on top of a rock. Gotta use the landscape to your advantage sometimes. Even if it is a little cheaty. Let me get another syringe and see what that one does. 
Ram and Slam. Simple, cheap, and quite heavy syringe without any effects except it deals 36 points of blunt raw damage and can stagger and knock off your opponent. That's not bad. It's basically just like an impact syringe. Oh, you ain't sneaky. Stay away from those rad barrels, though. Headshot. I did it again. Because submachine guns are notoriously heavy. I really need to get back. I was gonna say, it should be popping up on my compass any minute, and there it is. Okay. Hacking this is beyond me. Is it? Is it really, though? <laughs> All right. So you may notice with higher difficulty terminals, the words get longer. And honestly, I find that easier. Cause, uh, I like to start with something that ends in S, preferably. So I'll actually do fields. So it could still end in S. But um, since the likeness is one, it's with longer words, it's just less likely that something will have letters in common. Unless it's the correct word. So it can't be that, because that would have two. No... Stone says zero, so it doesn't end in an S. No, no. No. Might as well. It's right there. Oh, that was going to be it. Uh, no tries reset today. Got it anyway. I think it was the only option that it could have been at that point. So. Crap until I'm there we go. underweight again. So in my last series of this, I uh, edited out pretty much all of my crafting and inventory management stuff. Uh, one second, I'll return to that thought in just one moment. Hey there. Don't do anything stupid. Who are you? What are you doing out here? Name's Dreth. That's all you need to know. Now, you here for business? I ain't got all night. Are you a traitor? Sure. Let me see what you've got. All right. Let her through. That's not how you trade. <clears throat> it's late. You gonna buy something? Is it late? Mind a few questions? Talk is cheap. Everything else has its price. Now, you buying or not? Sure. Sure. Let's take a look. You're the worst merchant in the world. Pumpkin. <clears throat> I've been staying here for a few days now. But I'm running out of food. Do you, do you know any place close by that's hiring? Yeah, me. What do you think about coming to work for me? That would be okay, I guess. Where Where's your settlement? Uh, you can have a starlight. 
So she's another one from that Settlers of the Commonwealth add-on. Like, uh, I think his name was Bob. That we met in the last episode. So we can see that she was last edited by that same patch that I made. Awful shot. I gotta be more patient. Nice shot, Preston. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I got distracted. But I was saying in the last series, I edited out pretty much anything I ever did in this area. So like all my inventory management and crafting and all that kind of stuff. And I would just pop out of the sewer and record a quick little recap on like weapons I upgraded and you know what perks I took and all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm undecided if I'm going to do that again. If you uh, feel any, any uh, type of way about it, let me know. But this is pretty much the whole thing. It's just me dropping shit off. It's not exciting or anything, but um, if you want the full experience, I can leave it in. It's not a problem, but it's kind of up there with the notes and the terminals. Or I can I can leave like little cards that would pop up in the corner up here that would be like, oh, you can skip this section, go to the next chapter. I actually couldn't do that on my last series because I, I didn't have enough subscribers, and you need a thousand subscribers to add cards to your videos <laughs> because reasons... But I can now, so, you know, it's fine. It only takes a second. Never gonna use this stuff. Put grenades over Molotovs. I don't need a flare gun yet. Flare gun will be probably the most important tool in our arsenal later on, but not right now. So, let me get a chunk off of Preston. Preston! Hey! I'm listening. Hey! Do you actually need any? Yeah, you're wearing stuff. There we go. And there is one other thing I like to do. Uh, I like to store my power armor separately. So I usually have it in a little section over here. So I like to make my decorations, furniture, containers. I don't know why I'm very set in my ways all the time. What's the thing I want? That one. I usually have a little thing right here above my workbench where I store my power rubber stuff. It's not perfectly centered. It's gonna bother me. I gotta fix it. I'm sorry. Good enough. It's a little off. It's good enough. I can um use a uh, place anywhere. To move stuff really tiny in like tiny increments like that. The biggest problem with that though is say I move something you know way over. If I activate it again to move it, it kind of snaps back to its original spot, which is kind of weird. But uh it is what it is. But that's new sort of note. And uh if you wanted to, those are uh two, four, six, and eight on the numpad. They have little arrows on them, so you can pretty easy to remember which ones move there. I think that's it, right? 155, never mind, he had a bunch of weapons. Actually, while I'm here... Let's see... Let's see if what I can upgrade it. I need you to not use that. What are you building? Did I stash my pistol? Because I wasn't paying attention. That was the main thing I wanted to look at. I sure did. I really like pistols. I always have. I don't always want the thing that gives the highest damage number because, like, if I spec and do a higher crit build, I would definitely want that. I don't even have the classic criticals unlocked yet, which is awesome. If you're not aware, it gives you criticals outside of VATs or VAFs. But, uh, so I will go with that one right now. But even though I'm going with that one, I don't always want. The top damage one. Uh, I'd rather not waste my adhesive on this because I don't care that much about that. 
Quick eject mags are nice, but again, that's a lot of adhesive. I do use this a lot, though, so it'll be worth it. Uh, I'm cool with standard sights. I don't need a suppressor. So this is something I have to fix. I don't mind... Well, I don't usually like custom ammo types, and this is not vanilla ammo. But currently, that one just takes two steel to craft instead of, like, the gunpowder and stuff that I created for all this stuff. So I have to fix that, and I keep forgetting to. So again, just like with the synth components, maybe just talking to myself about it will remind me to do it. Uh, it? See, then it takes two steel, which is a bit uh, a bit silly. So I'm not going to make it right now. But I will need ammo breakdown at some point. I need to fix these ones too. But the whole idea is you break down ammo you don't want, and in return you get these scrap things, which break down into gunpowder, and then, you know, you can use that gunpowder to make the ammo types that you do want. So slightly more complex than version 6's ammo crafting. Uh, I think it's a little bit more fair. There is not currently a way to craft any energy weapon ammo, though, because I just couldn't think of a way it made sense, because obviously I wouldn't want to use uh, gunpowder for that. Because that would be silly. It's an energy weapon. So I was thinking about doing like, uh, I don't know, depleted cores or depleted cells or something like that. But I haven't decided. Um, what was I doing? I was going to get Heather. Um, what would be the fastest way? I guess the way I came in. Sanctuary might actually be a little faster. That's alright. Let's go this way. Alright, anyway, back to getting Heather. She's not too far, just a bit down the road here. But having said that, I think it is a good time to make the cut for this video. And uh, I've been talking a lot in this one, and honestly I'm not used to talking this much. But um, we will be on our way to get Heather after this, and then probably make our way down to Diamond City. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you very much. I really do appreciate your, your support and your company. And I've been getting a lot of nice comments lately, and I really appreciate that. So hopefully I will see you next time, and you all have a good one.